What is up gamers? Gamer27 here. Welcome to episode 2 of What Are Their Chances? In the first episode, we took a look at Jabanyan, Gino, Rayman, Shantae, and Crash Bandicoot and gave them all their specific chance scores and my want scores. So if you want a more in-depth look of, of how I'm going to be doing this series, you can watch the first episode first where I explain anything. If you already watched the first episode or you really just don't care, which both are fine, then let's get right to this episode. So the five characters I'll be talking about today are Paper Mario, Waluigi, Sora, Rillaboom, and Bandana D. These are the five characters we will be looking at today, and let's get right into it. The first character we are going to be talking about is the Lanky Purple Man, and no it is not Barney the Dinosaur. <sighs> Waluigi, the center of memes in the Mario universe, and the Smash Bros. universe as well, with many people saying, Oh, why is Waluigi keep being an assist trophy? Why can't he be playable? And I couldn't agree more. <sighs> If you have Hope or, or a major Waluigi fan, you are probably going to be really mad at me for this, but Waluigi has little to no chance of being a character in the game. I know some people still have hope. I have absolutely well, very little hope at all of him being a character. And I'm pretty sure you know the reason. Waluigi is an assist trophy. Does he have lots of requests to be a character? Yes, but that's all he has going for him. Him being an assist trophy com completely almost kills his chances. Uh, it's, he still has a tiny chance because of all the character requests, but just being an assist trophy alone com almost completely kills it for him. Uh, and trust me, I would love to see Waluigi in the game as much as the next guy, but... And being an assist trophy almost completely kills his chances. And you might be thinking, oh, so well, uh, so that would be fine. Sakurai could just put him in the game and only make the assist trophy activate while Waluigi's not playing on the battlefield. Oh, do you have a point? Eh, I, I suppose. But Sakurai has never done this with any other character before. And I don't see why he would make an exception with Waluigi. I don't see him putting all the work in for Waluigi being an assist trophy just to make him be a character. And even if the Waluigi assist trophy was still there, I still don't think he'd put in all that work in it just to make him a character. I just don't really see why Sakurai would do that. Yes, I know he's all about the fan service for this game and wants to get as many popular characters as possible, but... I just don't see it here because he's already an assist trophy. Again, I'm sorry to all you Waluigi fans, but it's not going to happen. So for Waluigi's chance score, I give him a chance of 10%. The only thing he has going for him is that he has a lot of character requests is an incredible, and is incredibly popular. But his, like I said earlier, him being an assist trophy almost completely kills it for him. If he wasn't an assist trophy... Sure, he'd be at a 95% if he wasn't an assist trophy, but since he is, he's only at a mere 10%. I can't put him any lower because of how many requests he has, but I can't put him any higher because he's already an assist trophy. That for a want score, however, 95%. I, I want Waluigi just as much as anybody else does. I would love to see this lanky, lanky big purple man get in the game, but like I said, it probably isn't going to happen. Though he... If he was in the game, he would have a really cool moveset. I can see them incorporating his tennis racket, maybe some of the Mario Baseball or, or uh, Striker series, and maybe even Mario Party. I mean, I think all those references would be really cool and it would make sense for Waluigi's moveset, but I just don't see it in this game. The next character we'll be talking about is Paper Mario. And unlike the lanky Purple Man, I can actually see Paper Mario being put into this game as playable character. Why? Two words. Origami King. Yes, I can see Paper Mario being put in to promote Paper Mario the Origami King. That just makes, makes way too much sense for me. That just makes, that makes, bleh. I am jumbling my words, I am sorry. It just makes way too much sense. And not only that, but Paper Mario has also got a lot of character requests. And would have an incredibly unique moveset. 
especially if they incorporated the partners in there. That, that, that would just be awesome. With all of these I said, with them being a promotion tool, having lots of character requests, and having a unique moveset, what holds them back? Well, one word, Gino. I don't think we're gonna get more than one more Mario character as DLC, and if that, and if that is true, I, I see one that is more likely than he is, and it's a character from a Mario RPG. Am, Gino, am. Yeah, I feel like Gino is Paper Mario's main rival here of getting in. Gino overall has gotten a lot more character requests than uh, Paper Mario has. And although Gino doesn't have the iconicness that Paper Mario has, seeing how this game is all about popular characters being put in, I think Gino is more likely to get in than Paper Mario is. It, it's, it's truly the amount of Mario characters that we already have in the game that is Paper Mario's um, main rival for this. Honestly, I would really love to see him in here since I really love the Paper Mario series, but I do the amount of Mario characters already in the game and the fact that there's another Mario character that's already much more likely than Paper Mario is, I just don't see him happening as, as much as many others may think. Though, like I said, he is, he is very iconic and, and would have a unique moveset, could use a promotion tool, and has lots of character requests. So he still has a, a high chance, but not as high as I would like to put him, solely because of the amount of Mario characters already represented and because Gino. For Paper Mario's chance score, I give him a chance score of 75%. I could, I, I, like I said, I really could see him happening. He, he would be a great promotion tool for the Origami King, is a very iconic Mario spinoff series, has gotten a lot of character requests, and would have a unique moveset. But like I said, the amount of Mario characters already represented in the game, and the fact that there's another Mario character that's more likely than him that's going to take his spot, really brings him down for me. If it wasn't for those two, I'd almost say he's a shoe in but because of those two, I can't put him any higher than a 75%. And even then, that might be a little bit too high. For a want score, I give him a want score of 95%. I think you're noticing a theme here. If it's a Mario character, I want it. No questions asked. Anyway, yeah. I, I really, really, really love the Paper Mario series. I paid, I played, bleh, I not paid, well, I did that too, but I played the Paper Mario, pa I played, bleh, bleh, bleh. I played Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and The Origami King, both very recently, and I enjoyed both of them. Pa Thousand Year Door was, bleh, the goat. But Hamar the Oregon King was a great game, and I really had fun with it. And Super Paper Mario, though it wasn't my favorite gameplay-wise, had an incredible story, and that alone was really nice to see in a Mario game. So, due to my fondness for the series, and seeing how much moveset potential he could have, I have to give him a want score of 95%. So the next character I'll be talking about is Bandana Wildly or Bandana D, whichever you want to call him, but I'm going to be calling him Bandana D for shortness and simplicity. Now, what does Bandana D have going for him? Quite a flippin' lot, actually. We have not gotten a new Kirby character since Brawl, and I'm too lazy to check how many years ago that was, but it's been a heck of a lot of time. All right, so yeah, we have established that we're due for a new Kirby character. The, the last Kirby characters we had were the boomers that were King DDD's nuts and Meta Knight. So we need a new Kirby character to represent the modern era of Kirby, and no one represents that better than Bandana D. And since Donkey Kong uh, has gotten a new character uh, in Ultimate, and their last character before King K. Rule was in Brawl with Diddy Kong, I can see them doing that here too. So, what else does Bandana D have going for him? This guy got requests. Heh, <laughs> you thought that was all? Nah, he got lots of requests. Like, it's almost ridiculous how many requests this guy has, which, good choice, people. I really want him to. But another huge thing Bandana D has going for him is that he is, from, he is from a series that Sakurai has created. Now, I'm not sure if he actually created the character or not, but whether, I don't really think that makes a difference. Some may say that Sakurai isn't the kind of person to do that, and to an extent, I agree, 
but when but when the character has a lot of requests like some of the most I've ever seen and it's from a series that he has I think he would want to choose a character that's iconic and would have lots of nostalgia to him and especially if he's popular since the game's all about the fan service and it, like say if it was like between Bandana D or like another character with lots of requests I think he would choose Bandana D solely because they both have requests and it's from a series that he he created like I said, this may not be the most best reason to some people, but I have another reason. Bandana D's moveset would translate perfectly into Smash. Not just like his all oh, his moves would work in the game. Nah. If you played any Kirby game, or at least any of the modern ones, it's kind of hard to explain, but like, if you played any Kirby game, you know what I'm talking about. How most of the characters' moves feel like kind of like Smash, if, if you get what I mean. It's, it's hard to explain, but if you play a Kirby game, you know what I'm talking about. All of those reasons I talked about make me th think that Dandanity is pretty, pretty freaking close to being a shoe in I think he, I think he has a very high chance of getting in. I really don't see any negatives for this guy. So for Bandanity's chance score, I give him a chance score of 90%. I cannot think of a single negative for this guy. He's iconic to the Kirby series. We haven't gotten a new Kirby character in, in decades. We, we, it's from a series that Sakurai created. He has lots of requests, and he's just an, an icon of Kirby. I don't know if I said that already, but I do not care. All right. So yeah, all these reasons get make make me think that he's almost a shoe in. I don't think he's quite as high as Gino, but he is like so flipping close. Like, he's like so flip flipping close. I, like I said, I can't really think of any negatives that would keep him back from being included. For a want score, 90%. I, I played so many Kirby games, and and all, all the modern ones are the ones I prefer over the classic ones. And since Bandana D has been in almost every single one, I have a lot of fondness towards the character. And I really like playing as, as him. And even when I couldn't play him in Return to Dreamland, when it's just me because I had no friends... Uh, I always like the spear ability, and since Bandana D perfectly represents that, I want him, because I like the spear ability. The next character I'll be talking about is Rillaboomer. Now, well, I, I have no doubt that we'll get a Gen 8 Pokemon represented in Smash Ultimate, but out of all of them, I'm not sure if Rillaboom is the most likely. I th honestly, although yes, we could use a, a final evolution grass starter, I'm not exactly sure if, if he'll be picked over, let's say, someone like Urshifu or Toxtricity. And another thing you got to keep in mind is that the creator of Pokemon decides who gets in. Like, it could literally be any Pokemon. Look what happened to Greninja and Incineroar. I mean... I mean, Sakurai want, uh, wanted Greninja in the first place, so that doesn't really mean anything. But Sakurai stated that he was that he was going to put in Decidueye, but the creator wanted uh, Incineroar instead. Which means that the creator has the say of who's going to be put in. And out of all the characters that he can put in, I don't think Rillaboom would be the one that he would put in. I mean, I think he's in the top three, which er, with er, 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 or Shifu, or Kubfu, it can be either or, and or Toxtricity beating him out, but I still could see him happening if, if the creator of Pokemon really wanted to finish the starter trio, then I could see him being included, but I overall think there are m much more likely candidates for a, for a Gen 8 Pokemon to represent Sword and Shield. So for a chance score, I give Rillaboom a chance score of 50%. Gosh, I made him too big on this slide. Anyway... Yeah, I, d I don't think in Rillaboom is the most likely Gen 8 Pokemon to be chosen. Like I said, I think Urshifu slash Kubfu or Toxtricity would be chosen before him. But I definitely think he's the third most likely Gen 8 Pokemon to get in. I definitely think he'll get in over the other two starters. For a want score, 85%. Gosh, I didn't realize how much of these characters I wanted so badly in the game. I, I'm i down for another Pokemon in the game. I know people are getting tired of seeing Pokemon in the game, kind of like Fire Emblem, but to a lesser degree. But I'm, unlike Fire Emblem, I actually like Pokemon. 
I'm sorry to all you Fire Emblem fans. The, the game the game series overall really isn't for me. But yeah, I really like the Pokemon series. And I really liked Sword and Shield. I do not care what you I do not care one word about what you say. I really liked Sword and Shield. The Grookey line was the starter that I picked. Rillaboom was overpowered on my team. And I really like Rillaboom for that. And that's why I have an 85% want score. I think he could have a really unique moveset, especially incorporating his drum and all that. I just really wanted to see him included. So the last character I'll be talking about is Donald Duck. Wait, what? No, no, that, that's not right. Ah, oh, sorry, I held my script backwards. Apparently it's actually Sora. Oh, yeah, that, that actually makes much more sense. Ah, yeah, there we go. Anyway, sorry about that. Anyway... Yeah, Sora has a very high chance of getting in the game. I am not going to not deny that, and I am going to tell you why. Like Bandana D and Gino, he has a lot of things going for him. So I'm going to start with the obvious. He he has the most requests out of any character to be put in the game. It debatably is Gino, which that is his main rival in terms of character requests, but I think Sora edges him out there. Look at any list of who they want in Smash. Sora. 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 Oh look, I found this one. I wonder who's gonna be in it. Is it Sora? Wow, I did it. Anyway, jokes aside, yeah, he is heavily, heavily requested to be put in the game. But not only that, but the creator of Kingdom Hearts said that he that they would that they would allow Sora in Smash if he had a lot of character requests and wanted and a lot of people wanted him to be put in the game. Yep. I don't remember where it was stated, but I know it was stated, okay? Okay, so you, you just gotta believe me on this one. And yes, yeah, Sora has more than enough character requests for the people there to be, to, to think that he is heavily requested. So not only does he have that going for him, but Kingdom Hearts is an incredibly iconic and popular series. I mean, it's, it's got Mickey Mouse characters in it, of course it's gonna do well. So. Yeah, with the iconicness of the Kingdom Hearts series and the fact that the creators would allow him in if he had a lot of character requests, which he does, I think that's enough to get him in. I think that's more than enough to get him in the game. So, yeah, those two reasons are why I think that Sora has an incredibly high chance. Sure, there may not be as many reasons as other characters, but these two reasons are, ex are extremely good ones for why Sora would be included. I overall just think he'd be included because the creator said that if he had a lot of requests, he'd be put in, which he does. And the fact that the series is very iconic and represent, since the series represents a lot of different Disney series, a lot of people would like a, a character that represents that game series. And Sora would definitely be the character. Since, I mean, they're not going to choose a Disney character for it. So, of course, they would choose Sora. So, there's no doubt about that. So, yeah. I think Sora's gonna be in. Very high chance. So let's get right to his chance score. For Sora's chance score, he gets a 90%. I can really not think of a single negative for this guy. I mean, the creators of the series want him in if he has lots of character requests, which, like I said, he does. And the series is very iconic. Those are why I think he will get in. It, it's kind of like a Bando Kazooie situation, actually, where the creator actually said that they wanted him in the game, and when they said they wanted him in the game, they put Bando Kazooie in the game. So if they want Sora in the game, then they would put him in the game too. Like I said, it's like a Bando Kazooie situation. It's a win-win for everybody. So yeah, I think Sora's almost definitely going to be in, just as much as Bandana D, if not slightly more. But yeah, I can't think of any negatives for him, so I definitely think he's going to be in. For a want score, I. I unfortunately have to give him a 60% chance for a want score. I've never played any of the Kingdom Hearts games, but the fact that he has a freaking key as his main weapon makes me want him for that. So, yeah. I don't really have any nostalgia or feelings towards him because I never played his game, but he has a key, so that's awesome. So there you have it. Those are what I thought of each character's chances of getting into Smash. Paper Mario, Sora, and Bandana D have very high chances in my opinion. Waluigi... Rip, and Rillaboom, he could be the Janet Pokemon represented, but I think they'd choose two more over him. So yeah, so those are what I thought of each character. Tell me if you agree or disagree in the comment section below. I read and respect all comments. 
And in the comments below, tell me what character you want me to give their chance score for It's being in Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC. And if I like it, and if a lot of other people like it, your character can be the one I give a chance score to next. Until then, guys, see ya.